Hello again. This is the quick homemade mashed potatoes. I boiled this time about three medium sized red skin potatoes. And I cook them basically until they're about to fall apart. I'm going to do a very quick rinse in the colander. I'm going to put about a tablespoon, maybe, of butter. Quick, dump the potatoes. Oh, I'm going to quickly uh, mash this up with the butter and some salt before I add the milk because I just want the salt basically to have a chance to dissolve. Uh, this is probably about a half of a teaspoon tops. And the last time I made these, which was just last night, <laughs> and we kind of chowed down on them. I did end up adding about another half a tablespoon of butter and probably another half a teaspoon of salt. But I like to start out with a small amount and then taste it. The lighting's not the best in here. Okay, 2% milk, do not use cream. You do not need whole milk. That You don't need that fat. The, the potatoes still taste good. Also, I highly recommend milk that is free of bovine growth hormones. I'll need to go on about it later, but they're hormones, obviously, that they give cows. Bovine is for cow. I believe they give them to both beef cattle and dairy cattle, but um, with dairy cattle, it causes the cows to produce more milk. And it doesn't seem to hurt the cow, but it's a neurotoxin to humans, and they're now finding it in mother's breast milk. Neuro, the brain, toxin, it's obvious. Uh, the human brain doesn't finish growing and developing until the age of 25. You can only imagine the damage this could do, especially to an infant or a toddler. Or adult. Okay, so get the hormone free milk. I personally don't pay for milk that is also organic. I had to ask the guy at the store, and what that means is that the cattle are fed organic grains, and it's about twice the price, and I can't afford it. So I go for the one without the hormones. Okay. This, I'd, I really don't like to measure things, I, okay? That was probably about one and a half tablespoons. That was probably another one and a half tablespoons. Some people, some people like their mashed potatoes with zero lumps. I actually don't care. I don't mind a few lumps. And then at the, from here on out, you add more milk if you want them creamier, unless, you know, some people want them. So I like the sound of that plop. Let's take a quick taste. Huh. That's really good, just the way it is. I am going to put the tiniest pinch of salt on there. Don't ask me why. I don't know. And again, the tiniest. Uh, that was probably one and a half teaspoons of butter. I do use real butter. Don't use margarine. It has just as much fat and tons of salt and a, the wrong kind of fat too. Okay, a hair more milk. Because really... I think it's fine. And I needed some more because, as I mentioned, we, but my daughter and I love them, and we chowed down on some last night, and there's only about a half a serving left, and that just will not do because our dinner tonight, I have an upcoming move. 
and um, I may or may not have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> okay, so we're having homemade mashed potatoes. I deboned a whole roasted chicken that I got on sale for six dollars. You can get it for less if you cook it yourself, but I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> Sautéed. The lighting's horrible. Sautéed mixture of woohoo there goes some juice green kale and dino kale which is also called latino kale it's a darker green and a thinner leaf so it's chicken our protein okay mixed green is the leafy green and potatoes will be a second vegetable and we'll probably have milk to drink i some i often have water and that's it um I'm going to go do dishes. Thanks, y'all.